Hi everyone, my name is Miss Barrett and I will be your year four teacher next year. I am new to Highwood and I'm so excited to meet you all and welcome you into my class. The first thing you should know about me is that I love being active. I enjoy running and have done many charity runs with my friends. I also love to ski, which is a sport I've been doing since I was young and I try to go away at least once a year with my family. I also have a dog at home called Arnie. He is a golden retriever and he likes to pretend to be a lap dog, but he is way too big. I love to read many different genres of books, although my favourites are mysteries and adventures. My favourite book series is Harry Potter and I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I can't wait to get my nose into some new books over the summer. I hope you will manage to read lots of interesting books and find some new favourites to share in class in September. We have lots of fun things to look forward to exploring in the curriculum next year and I can't wait to capture your minds and imagination. There will be a few changes now that you are entering year four. Your new classroom is off the Key Stage 2 playground which is where your parents will now be dropping you off and picking you up. You will no longer have a peg to hang your coats and bags. Instead, you'll be allocated a locker which is just outside the classroom. These lockers are not very big, so I would suggest you use a Highwood book bag or a small rucksack to bring in what you need every day. Next to the lockers, in between the two year four classrooms, there are toilets for boys and girls. These are the toilets you would normally use during break and lunch time. We are very lucky to be right next to the Key Stage 2 library, so it's going to be a lot easier and quicker to change your books. This year you'll be learning to play the cornet with the Berkshire Maestros during the spring and summer term. And don't forget, in the summer we'll be heading off to Dorset Coast for our residential trip to Swanage. So this will be our new classroom next year. It has been completely redecorated with brand new carpets and furniture, so we need to make sure we look after it. The wooden door at the back leads to the locker area and the toilets, and the glass door is our fire door and access to the Key Stage 2 playground. These are the toilets and the locker area. Each of you will be allocated with one locker to store all your coats and bags throughout the year. These double doors lead to the Key Stage 2 library and are the ones we will use when we go to assembly. Here you can see the Key Stage 2 library, a reading area and access to our classroom. So this is our classroom looking from the Key Stage 2 playground. When you come in in the mornings, you'll come in through the door shown. When your parents pick you up at the end of the day, you'll come through our fire escape, which is just to the right of the picture where you see all the windows and the white panels. So these are our topics for this year. In autumn, it is what is more precious, water or gold. In spring, what do the Romans do for me? And in summer, how have our coast made Britain great? The key question for the autumn term is, what is more precious? water or gold. During this term we will be reading The Secrets of the Sun King and The Search for Tutankhamun. Both of these books are linked to the ancient Egyptians who are our main topic in history. I am excited for this unit. The ancient Egyptians are one of the most interesting cultures in history. In writing we will be writing narratives about the Sun King and creating newspaper articles linked to the search of Tutankhamun. In maths, we will be doing lots of number work to help improve your skills when using the four operations. In geography, we'll be looking at the physical features of rivers and how they are formed, as well as the water cycle. This will link to the River Nile, which we will explore in history. A lot of your art and DT will be linked to the ancient Egyptians, and as before, we will be having weekly French lessons. The key question for the spring term is, what did the Romans do for me? As you might have expected, a lot of this term is going to be learning about the Romans. We'll be reading The Thieves of Ostia, all about mystery in ancient Rome, as well as the non-fiction text, The Rotten Romans. In writing, we'll be writing a Roman myth, as well as explanation texts and biographies about them. In maths, we will be building on our knowledge of fractions and decimals, as well as moving on to learning about shapes. Art and geography and history will be linked to Romans, and we will learn how they changed Britain, where they created settlements and how they created stunning works of art. In science, we'll be exploring food chains and solids, liquids and gases. 
The key question for the summer term is how have our coasts made Britain great? This term we'll be reading Michael Morpurgo's Sir Goyen and the Green King as well as the Osborn books of castles. I love Michael Morpurgo's books and cannot wait to read these. In writing we'll be creating exciting narratives and a quest poetry linked to Sir Graham and medieval history. We will also be writing persuasive letters to stop a catastrophic Norman invasion of Highwood Primary. In maths we'll be exploring lots of different aspects of measurements such as perimeter, area and time. We have a bit of catching up to do with telling the time but I think we can crack it later this year. In this term we'll be visiting Swanage on the Dorset coastline, so a lot of the topic will be based around this. We will study the human and physical features of the area in geography and how the land is used and has changed in history. Art and DT will be linked to castles as we'll be visiting Corf Castle as part of the trip. Also we should be able to start using some exciting new technology in computing. It's all very new and exciting. So in year four, it's important that we're still working at home. This includes reading every day and making sure you complete one piece of homework every two weeks. Hopefully this year, all of you will be working towards getting your Highwood VIPs, earning your bronze, silver and gold, and I'm really looking forward to see how many you can achieve this year. I hope you're excited to start year four and I can't wait to meet you all. I look forward to welcoming you back to school in September for our amazing year together. Have a lovely summer and I will see you soon.